this is the Happy Mazo Mobula 8, and we will be upgrading it to become an ultra light Cinewoop with the Runkin Thumb Pro. Before we begin the installation, let's discuss the parts we will be using in the wiring diagram. Yes, unfortunately, you will have to solder because this particular camera does not have in an internal battery. So we're going to have to draw external power out from the flight controller to power this camera. To power this camera, we are going to solder a SH1.0 3-pin cable. And we are going to need a converter cable from 3-pin SH to a 4-pin JST because this camera needs JS the plugs is a JST is not SH so you can see that the SH cable is not going to fit because this is simply just too small how it works is we are going to plug in the cable like this okay and you're gonna plug in to the camera and then we're going to solder it to a 5 volt pad on the flight controller and a ground pad so basically this is done and the last thing we need is a special printed canopy because yeah, there is no GoPro mount for this thing. Basically, we're going to remove the original canopy and we're going to put the camera here and we're going to put the run cam here. I didn't create this one, but I, I simply found this on uh, Thinkersverse and I'm going to leave the file below so you will be able to print it yourself. For the wiring diagram, as we have previously discussed, we are going to solder on a power cable and a ground cable. And the pads we're going to be using is a 5 volt and the ground, of course. And it's super tiny, but it's right here. This one is your ground, and this one is your 5 volt. Okay, we can begin the soldering. We're gonna start by prepping the wires and the pads to be soldered ready. Okay, we're just gonna add some solder onto the cable right here. Solder the wire on. We're going to test to see if there are any shorts. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, let's test it to see if it works before we put everything back. Turn the antenna. Okay, plug in the lipo. Okay, we are getting power, so this is a successful installation. Okay, let's put everything back. We're gonna have to remove the old canopy. With the screws. Basic secure of the camera.
right, we are done. I think we can test fly this thing. Let's see if it works.